New at 6. Yosemite National Park isn't just full of beauty and visitors, it's also a place full of mysteries. Millions pass through the gates every year. On your next visit to the park or any national park, there's a list rangers want you to be aware of. Yeah, it's a list of people who entered the park but never left. Our Joe Moeller spoke to a Fresno woman who still wonders what happened to her son. One of the search and rescue people said, we want you to know, we want you to go where David last went. My experience then became walking his path. We came every year for 20 years now. David um, went Memorial Day morning and he left and he was just going to go up and come back. And he was that kind of guy. The last time Susan Quinn saw her son was back in 1998. I brought a picture of David. That was not very long before um, he went missing. David Morrison was from Fresno and a graduate of Hoover High. He was a chef in San Francisco 20 years ago. It was Memorial Day weekend when David and a group of friends came to Yosemite to enjoy the outdoors and to get away from the city like many others do. That Monday, David decided he needed to meet the challenge of walking up there, hiking up there and back before he went home. He left his group and hiked up to Yosemite's iconic half dome alone. That was the last time anyone heard from him. I came up early at dawn the next morning. Quinn and her family spent the week in the park with search and rescue, but nothing came up. And at the end of the week, at Friday, then they stopped the search. She, along with others, came back several times to search on their own, but nothing was ever found. And because nothing's ever, I, uh, has never been found that located where he died or what happened to him. Visitors from all over the world come to our national parks just like Yosemite for the beauty and to take in nature. But for some, their trips turn out a lot differently than they expected. This story, David's story, has gone cold, and his case is not the only one. When someone goes missing or there's some sort of crime that happens and it's not solved, it goes into what we call the cold case file. Scott Gediman from Yosemite says all of these cases are still active, and they are not going anywhere until investigators from the park find out what happened. The oldest one on the list dates back to 1969. There are more than two dozen cold cases on this list, from missing people to unsolved homicide. Yosemite and Grand Canyon are the most popular ones on the list. In Yosemite alone, there are 10 cases dating from 1972 to the most recent in 2016. People who have simply disappeared. These cases are still active. We're not actively doing stuff every day, but they're active and there's things that we want to remind our rangers and park visitors that these things are still out there. Gediman says it is good for visitors to know that this list even exists. I've seen cases where 10 years later something might be found. It could be a piece of clothing. It could be a shoe. It could be something that could, that could bring some clues or bring some sort of resolution. If visitors came across something in the wilderness, Gediman says visitors should not take it with them, but information on its whereabouts should be given to them so the National Service investigative team can follow up. For every person on this list, there's a family still looking for answers. I think we think he fell. Yeah. And he had a little fanny pack, and he had in it um, his credit card. I guess in my heart for a long time I thought someday that's going to show up, somebody's going to find it. But then they would have to know to turn it in and that's the difference. Quinn travels to Yosemite and hikes to this small memorial she placed near Half Dome. She hopes one day, maybe, just maybe, something will turn up. You know, David died in a place that he would have wanted to be. That's where he loved. That's what Joe Muller reporting yeah, for us. Yeah, so sad. And we have more details on the National Park cold cases. You can visit our website, yourcentralvalley.com. It's certainly not something that most people think about no, whenever they think about Yosemite. Not but at all. The dangers that come with some of these places and such a strenuous well, hike like Half Dome like I that. I know, and some people do fall to their deaths. Of course, we report those sad stories as well. Yeah. Still